Hello everyone and welcome to my latest short video on useful advanced English vocabulary. Now the vocabulary that I share in this series of videos is particularly useful because often it's very difficult to find a really good definition or explanation of the meaning and uses of this, these phrases um, in a dictionary or on the internet. And today's phrase is, it's all well and good. Now this phrase is great for general English use. Um, it's particularly useful when you're having a discussion or a debate or even maybe an argument and you want to diplomatically disagree with your, your speaking partner. But it's also particularly useful if you're planning on taking an English exam, especially the, the Cambridge English exams. Now you would think that this phrase is really positive, right? Because you have, it's all well, so the, the adverb well, and good, the adjective good, those are very positive words, right? So you would think this phrase is expressing something wonderful. It must be perfect. If it's all well and good, it must be perfect. But that's not exactly the case because we use this phrase to express that something is fine, it's okay, it's acceptable, but there are other things to take into consideration. So we often use it when contrasting uh, different ideas or different opinions. So to say something is all well and good, but <laughs> it's almost always followed by the conjunction but to really express and emphasize that, okay, this is fine, that what you have just said or even what I have just said is fine, but there are, there are more things, more aspects to take into consideration. Okay, as always, to really get a good understanding of this phrase, we need to see some examples, right? So the first example, it's all well and good politicians promising to improve the education system, but we need to see some real investment. So it's all well and good politicians promising, so we usually use the verb in the ing form, promising, uh, promising to improve the education system. So that's great, that's fine, that's all well and good, but we need to see some real investment. So that's the, really what this um, person is emphasizing in this, this argument. So the promises are fine, but what you're really doing here is emphasizing that that's, that's not really enough. In fact, you're kind of criticizing politicians for promising to improve the education system in this case, but with no real action, with no investment. Let's look at another example. And in this case, you'll see that we can use this expression just to respond to what someone else has said. Okay, so the first speaker says, I recycle all of my household waste. That's all well and good, but what about the packaging from the products you buy? Okay, so in this case, the, the person is just responding. So the, the first person said, I recycle all of my ho household waste, which is good, that's positive. So the, the other person responds by saying, well, that's all well and good, that's fine, but, but there's more to take into consideration. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to get a good understanding of how we use this expression to contrast and very useful in a debate. So imagine in the Cambridge English exams, maybe in the C1 advanced or C2 proficiency uh, in the speaking paper, you're, you're discussing and you, you want to diplomatically disagree with someone. So you, you take their point, you say, yeah, that's all well and good, but what about this? We need to think about this. Uh, regarding the writing, I wouldn't use this expression in the more formal writings like essays or reports, but it's perfectly acceptable for articles or reviews and in particular letters of, comp of complaint. So you could be complaining about a hotel, for example, and you can say it's all well and good advertising that it's a clean hotel, but when we arrived, it, we found it was very dirty. And one more example before we finish. It's all well and good you watching my vocabulary videos, but you must practice too. Okay, so that's true. Now practice this expression, this phrase with your own examples, uh, maybe even speaking with a, a speaking partner or in your writings. Try and use it or lose it to make sure you don't forget it. Okay, I'll see you very soon for another video.